seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rangers in space! Hi guys, it's Aaron again, um, and today I am reviewing the In Space Silver Ranger, the second release by the way, because there's also been another release, which I have done a review of um, ages ago, and that head wasn't great. Um, on the first release. Those of you in America that watch me will know who I'm about to say. The second, or the first head from the first release looked like bloody Jay Leno. Not Justin Mimo. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this is the Ismay Silver Ranger with um, his Galaxy Cycle because it can be his Galaxy Glider and his motorbike at the same time. So I think it's called Galaxy Cycle, but I will check that a little bit got it wrong, I'll, I'll put it in the video what it's actually called, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But uh, yeah, on the box, see, on the front of the box, you get a picture of him on the cycle um, which again looks great. Um, oh, and by the way, there is some assembly required with the cycle. So, just warning you about that. <laughs> but yeah, on the front of the box, you get a great picture of him on the cycle. Which is the figure, by the way, not um, the actual actor in the suit. Um, and on the, you also, I believe, get the In Space logo. Um, and I'll give you a turn around of the box now. He does have a boatload of accessories as well. Um, so I'll give you a turn around of the box now. So, so coming round to the side you get the In Space logo on this side um, and it says Lightning Action. Coming round to the back it shows you the figure and what you get with the figure um, which is fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic. And coming around to the other side now, and I've noticed this with two boxes now, you actually get a picture of the actor in the suit, not a picture of the figure on the front, like you have done in the past, on the side rather, like you have done in the past. It's a picture of the actual actor. 
Um, and also you get a picture of the actor in the suit on, I believe it's this side of the box on the front. Um, but yeah, he looks amazing, he really does. Um, much better than the first release, I'll tell you that. Because the first release wasn't great. Which I have done a review of the first release, so I will put it in the description below of this video. Um, so... Yeah, sorry, look, lost my train of thought then, guys. Um, I was trying to think about what I was going to say and then I forgot. So sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, time to show you the cycle and the ranger now. But I've put all the accessories on the high riser, so you're only going to see the cycle and the ranger itself now. So uh, let's get it out of the box, shall we? So here's the figure and the silver cycle out of the box. Because in the show this also becomes his galaxy lighter. So I will give you a turn around in a minute, I'm just going to talk about them first. So I do have a gripe. The silver cycle should be a lot more silver than what that is. In fact, to me it doesn't even look silver, it looks grey. Um, which is a disappointment because to state the obvious really it looks like it's come straight out of the factory and gone straight in the box it's basically just grey plastic they've put no effort into it at all which I think is quite um, disappointing. When they sent the guy who actually plays this character, they sent him one. Because I remember when they did the House of Spurry Pulse live stream, and he he was on it, and he unboxed this figure and and Silver Cycle, and. Um, and there was an ouch moment, I thought, in in that live stream when he unboxed this. He said the civilian head is much better than the first one. And he was on a Hasbro Pulse live stream and he said that. So I dread to think what Hasbro were thinking at the time. I know what I'd be thinking, but I'm not going to say it on camera. So yes, it's a bit disappointing and there's not really, there's not really much detail to it at all, to be fair. The reason I got this was because Zane is one of my favourite Rangers from that show. And also, I wanted the best uh, um, Silver Ranger, so I got this one too. Um, and just before I give you a turn around of it, um, I did buy two of the first release, so 
Because I brought two because I was going to customise it to be a bright silver and then they brought this one out that isn't a bad silver. But um, anyway, the Ranger itself isn't a, isn't a bad Ranger. It looks really good. And they corrected the emblem issue. Isn't a bad silver. It's not a bright, bright silver like uh, like, like most people would have liked, me included. But it's it's really not a bad silver. Uh, it really isn't. And the gold is kind of a dull gold, but it, it works. It really works. Um, so, the figure itself is great. Um, bike, not so much because of the colour. The actual design of the bike is perfect, but it's just the colour for me that really kind of pisses me off that they've done it like that. When they would have looked at footage to know what the bike would look like for the uh, figure, so it does kind of piss me off that they've done it like that. Anyway, I'll give you a turn around of him now. If I can find the on switch. So as I said, the detail on the bike is quite plain. Um, does have some gold and that on it in some places. It has like the reflectors to make it look as though it's got light on the lights on it. Um, but obviously they're not actual lights. Um, coming around to the back, you can see the back of the uh, engine or jets because um, for those of you that don't know, in the show, this was also a galaxy glider. And it does have a kickstand, which I really like. Although I haven't put the figure on it yet, though, so that remains to be seen whether it will stay standing with the figure on it. Um, but yeah, the figure looks great. I really like the figure. Um, Zane was one of my, or is one of my favorite rangers from Power Rangers in Space. The whole storyline with him is absolutely incredible. Um, and also, those of you that don't know this, Power Rangers in Space was the season that saved the Power Ranger brand. Basically, it has literally been called the season that saved the Power Ranger brand because they weren't going to continue with Power Rangers after that season and then people loved this season so much they carried on and now 31 years later it's still going on. I will say this about the bike, it does have some gold on the top as well um, which is great. But yes, I do wish it had a lot more paint than what it has. I really do. So, um, I'm now going to show you the figure on the 
bike and then I'll show you the accessories and stuff so let's do that shall we so here he is on the motorbike or on the silver cycle but his feet do not touch the floor like the box is like it does on the box so they've CGI'd that because his feet do not touch the in floor so they have CGI'd that which is a bit of a shit show basically but um he looks absolutely fantastic on there he really does despite the color of the actual thing it looks fantastic with him being on here and with Kevin displaying you can get him to actually balance on here as well like we have but yeah I really do like him I'll give you a quick turn around of him on the table I'm not going to do much talking in this because you've seen the cycle but it looks fantastic with him on it it really does absolutely awesome um i do think the bike could definitely be a better color for 100 percent sure i'm not going to try and do paint it myself because one the paint will just chip off and, but uh it looks fantastic looks just like he did on the show he really does um it's just outstanding but yes i do highly recommend him i really do but uh that's how he looks on the cycle now i'll show you the accessories So here are the accessories. Um head head looks fantastic. Much better than the first release. You get the super silverizer in sword mode and gun mode. You get two spare or one spare pair of hands. Um, in different poses um, and I think my favourite thing favourite accessory has to be the I would say the weapons because from my recollection even when I had the figures back in the 90s I don't think they came with the su super silver either and if they did, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so the accessories are great, absolutely great. Um, so now I'll give you my ratings on him. So, my rating is for the uh, Silver in Space Ranger Zane and his Silver Cycle. Uh, the figure's great, absolutely great, better than the first release, um, head sculpt is much better, could have been a slightly brighter silver, but it's, it's silver, so, and it's a much better silver than the first release so I have no problem with the thing out whatsoever now the cycle I have a problem with and it's it's a real bugbear of mine this 
The cycle, as you all know, should be silver. Hence the name Silver Cycle. But um, they've done it in grey. It's almost like it's come straight out of the factory with no pain. Um, on the main bike itself, there's a few bits here and there, but barely any paint at all. So, basically, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like the I like the idea of releasing the silver cycle, but this thing is a heap of shit, basically. I love the idea, but it's the way it is, just the way it's painted and stuff, it just looks like a lump of, a big lump of um, grey plastic and black plastic. Um, so, my ratings for the figure itself, I go probably 9 out of 10 because it could have been a slightly brighter silver, but the, the figure itself gets a 9 out of 10. <sighs> or, yeah, 9 out of 10 I would say for the figure. But for the bike itself, bike itself, I'm gonna go six out of ten because of the way it is. I love the idea, and I'm glad Hasbro did it. But in my opinion, they could have done it a lot better. Six out of ten for the bike, ten out, uh, nine out of ten for the finger. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. Um, um, and <laughs> having Silver Cycle is a great idea. So yeah, that's my ratings for this figure. Six out of 10 for the bike, nine out of 10 for the figure. So I'll see you next time, guys. Right?